Hi everyone, welcome back to Intellipath's YouTube channel. Today is the day 9 of AWS series. In today's session, we will be learning about AWS Amplify. So before moving on with the session, please subscribe to our channel. And also hit the bell icon for the upcoming updates from our channel. And also if you enjoy our content, you can leave a like. Now let's see the agenda of the video. At first, we'll see what is AWS Amplify. Then we'll move on to what framework does it support. Then we'll see what is included on the service. And fourth, we'll explore the cost of the AWS Amplify. And fifth, we'll see the benefits of it. And finally, the further learning. Now let's get into the video by answering the question. What is AWS Amplify? The most simple answer will be AWS Amplify is used to convert the front-end application to a scalable full-stack application. AWS Amplify was released in late 2017 and it was released to help the front-end developers to make their static application to a scalable full-stack application. With the help of the AWS Amplify, the developer can configure the app backends, connect their application and deploy the static web app in just few clicks. It also enables the developer to manage the app content outside the AWS console. So now let's see what framework does the AWS Amplify support. We can say AWS Amplify is built for every possible application out there since it supports almost every popular platform and framework in both mobile and web environments. Speaking of mobile environments, it supports Android, iOS, React Native, Ionic and Flutter. In web environment, it supports JavaScript, Angular, React, Vue, and Next.js. Now we know what is AWS Amplify and what framework does it support. Now let's see what is included in the service. AWS Amplify was built under Apache 2.0. So it includes a wide range of open source libraries and also supports drag and drop UI components, which developers can use as the building blocks for your desired application. AWS Amplify has built-in CLI which can be used for the app backend purposes. If you are ready to pay some extra cash, AWS Amplify console can also act as the web hosting services for your application. The top features of the AWS Amplify includes the analytics, data storage, authentication and notification but it does not stop there, it has much more features and much more components than how much does the AWS Amplify cost? The pricing for the AWS Amplify for its libraries and components is free. Yes, you heard that right. It is free. You need to pay for the part where you use the service to build and deploy your application. In detail, for example, if you are using an Amazon S3 for storage and you add an Amplify storage module, you just have to pay the amount for the usual S3 fees. The pricing for the AWS Amplify for building and deploying web hosting application, there is a free tier for the AWS Amplify, which will be available for the whole 12 months. After the completion of 12 months, you have to pay and 0.02 US dollars for per GB of storage every month and you have to pay 0.15 US dollars for every GB served. So what are the benefits of the AWS Amplify? You may ask why should we use AWS Amplify instead we can code the backend ourselves. AWS Amplify is for those who do not want to configure the backends and build their components from the scratch. AWS Amplify comes with a lot of benefits and it includes the quick configuration of backends. We can make use of the Amplify admin interface and CLI spontaneous workflow to set up the AWS backend with the scalable configuration. This backend is comes with authentication, storage, data and other more common use cases. It can be easily connected with frontend. By using the Amplify libraries, we can connect to your new or existing AWS resources with minimum lines of code. Easy deployment. The Amplify console can be used to host single page web application and static websites using the git based workflow. It means you can just deploy your application by connecting the application repository to the console. Content management is simple. One of the main benefit of the Amplify admin interface is you can provide the administrative access to the people who are not developers but they can manage the app contents and they can make changes without having to create an AWS account. Now we know what is AWS Amplify in theory. Let's get into the action and create a web application using AWS Amplify. The first step is to log into your AWS account and search for Amplify in the service tab. Click on AWS Amplify. In this page, click Get Started and again get, click Get Started under the Host Web app. 
In this page, you can host your own React or any application using by connecting your source code to the, from a Git repository. But if you don't have any code right now, just scroll down and click continue under from stack samples. Click on authentication starter and click deploy app. The next page is to connect your GitHub account or authorize the GitHub account to your AWS account. So click on connect with GitHub. Once the GitHub authorization is successful, you will be prompted for app name and create a service role. And then click save and deploy. Just a quick hit for guys. IntelliPad provides online AWS certification training in partnership with Future Skills, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below. Now, let's continue with the session. AWS takes some time to create your application. Once the process is done, click continue. Even though your project is created, AWS takes time to build and deploy the repository. We'll be back once it is completed. Now the front end is created, so let's connect our back end to the NoSQL database using the GraphQL API. To do that, first you have to clone your graph. Firstly, there was fogged in a GitHub account in your preferred local path and change the directory to it. To clone your repository, go to the repository and click code and copy this URL. Go to your terminal, type git clone and paste the URL. Then change the directory to the created project. Next, we have to install and configure the Amplify CLI. So to install the Amplify CLI, type npm install g at aws amplify slash CLI. We'll be back once it is installed. Now the Amplify CLI is installed. Let's configure using Amplify configure. You will be asked to log in into your AWS account. Once it is logged in, go back to your terminal and press enter. Choose your region, choose your username. You will be moved into IAM management console. Just click next for everything. The user has to have administrative access and then create use. Once the user is created, don't close the tab. Go back to your terminal. Copy the access key ID. Copy the secret access key and provide a default username. I am giving the name. Once the new user is set up, go go back to AWS Amplify Console. Go to the admin backend. Create get started. Once it is done, copy this command and paste it in the terminal. You will be asked to sign in to your Amplify admin. Once you logged in, you will be asked to click yes, then return to the terminal and choose a default editor, choose the language, choose the framework you are using, and then just Leave the default settings here. Once it is done, we can initialize the Amplify project locally by Amplify init. The default settings looks the default settings will do the job here, so just press enter. Use AWS access keys. Go to the IAM management console. Copy the access key ID. Paste it here. Copy the secret access key. Choose the region. It will take some time for an Amplify to create this project. Now let's add the GraphQL API. The default example. To add it, to add an API, just amplify add API. Grab the keyword. Just leave, leave the default API name. Enter your description for the API key. 
and press no and then just press no once the api is created you can go into aws amplify console and click on dev and you can see our api is added in order to complete the add api function type amplify push this will build your, all your local backend resources and provision it in the cloud now everything will be connected so click on this link it will take you to your web application create account choose a username choose a password give your email id create account and that's it you have created a wordpress stack application with user sign in and sign out without knowing any single back end code thank you just a quick info guys IntelliPad provides online AWS certification training in partnership with Future Skills, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this session. I hope this session was helpful and informative for you. If you have any queries, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.